Oh yeah. <laughs> First bite of the day right there. Oh yeah, he's there. Awesome, awesome. He's running in. Feels good. All right. Oh, he's pulling drag. Yeah, <laughs> this might be a drum. Oh, no, okay, I thought it came off. He's running in. Man, hopefully this is a big pump. We are in the Panhandle Salt Pompano Showdown. And this is the first hooked fish. Hopefully the first landed fish. And it is gonna be a good day out here. It has been a flat surf for like a week. The surf is up today, which is great for the fishing. It's gonna get these species all stirred up. It's either a drum or a stingray. I don't think it's a stingray, though. It seems like it's giving some give, man. I got a nice drum. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping it is. Nice drum. I see it there. It's pretty, it's not far, it's right yeah, on the sandbar. Times, man, they'll freak the stuff down too. You oh yeah. I hadn't seen it yet. It's right here at shore. Yeah, right there at that yeah, oh yeah, that's a red. Uh, uh, white. It's a red. It's yeah, it looks like a red. White, dude. Holy nice. Shit. Good little fight right here at shore. Uh, one of those samples, just a sample. Really? Yeah, single single drop rig. It's not a. Yeah, it's just a single dropper. Nice, not. Nice. Look at this slot. I think he's over slot. They usually are. Yeah, he's over slot. I can tell. Probably. They they almost always are out here. He's nice. I don't know, dude. He might be right. He might be close. Oh, no, 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 we'll see. Let's grab him real quick. Oh yeah, he's over slot. He looks yeah. small. No, he's big, dude. Yeah, I got your pole. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Beautiful red drum to start the morning with. 36 inches. You can't beat that, man. I don't catch a lot of these, but when I do, it's always awesome. Let's get this monster back. Alright, buddy, let's get you in the water. Get you back out. Oh yeah, kicked off right away. There she goes. Nice. Easy release. Love those. And that redfish, all it ate was a sand flea. I just tipped with the sand flea, nothing else. And with the rough surf today, I am using some sinker guy Sputniks. I have three and four ounce. And what I got today is there's a there's a nice hole right here next to me. And then another sandbar. And this water is sucking out right here for sure. There's there's a little bit of a cut between these two bars and that water's sucking. And with the current moving this way, I'm hoping the fish are staged up on this side of it, swimming towards that rip, waiting for bait to get sucked out. So I'm fishing this sandbar right here. I got bait from here to here, all behind this bar. There we go. That was a pull. Good head shakes, feeling pompy, feeling like a good pump. Oh yeah, good head shakes on them. Dang, what is this? Feel my drag, make sure it's not too tight. Cause he's not pulling, but he's shaking. He wants to run, whatever it is wants to run. All right, I think he's running in. He either got off or he's running in. There he is, all right. Come on, buddy. What we got here? I hope this is just a monster pump. Don't think it is, sadly. I think it's another drum. That's what it's fighting like. Like a smaller drum. I'm either crossed up here or we had another fish hit. Yeah, that's another drum. It's closer to slot size. Might even be slot. 
It is a redfish kind of day, I guess. Look at Fred over here. Fred, that fish is the size of you, man. Come on, buddy. You ain't eating that. That is a nice size red. He's going to be upper. He's probably too big, realistically. Let me check this other rod out. I got something going on with it. Something had to have hit this. Might have just got crossed up in the action. I don't feel a fish. I'll go ahead and reel it in though. And just to make sure, sometimes those pompano will just come right in. Oh, there's a fish there, nice. And it's a pompano, first pomp of the day. Let's see what he ate. Looks like he ate just a sand flea on this purple and white float. And he's a keeper size. Uh, he's not tournament worthy, but he's a fish. He's not gonna win. If this pompano wins the tournament, there's something wrong, but we'll get him back, get him back out there swimming. And that red fish ate a sand flea on the green get him beat. Another, another fish eating the sand flea. This is a feisty red right here. He does not want me to pick him up at all, but I wanna measure him. He's too big, he's right at 28, so we gotta put him back. But another awesome red fish love these fish man but we'll get him back before he gets too tired all right buddy you feisty out there let's see feisty water. look at this guy he kicked right off all right well i'm gonna do some scooping gonna be a lot of these big fatties out here there we go this is the size i'm looking for i like these size like olive size not seeing any colonies but i'm getting like one flea of scoop so just stock up real quick barry's hooked up yeah look at this permit i thought it was a pop i thought it was too and then i saw that black and i was like Woo, big permit that made the trip right there didn't it Woo, man you wanna weigh it yeah let's do it man you ready get... yeah 8.6, dude. <laughs> 853 is what it ended up stopping at. Let me get it. That's probably a record for this area, dude. That's the biggest permit I've seen anyone catch around wow, here. Wow, really? I think it's beautiful, man. She, nice. hey, she's going to eat real good. Fred, I think she's a little too big for you, Fred. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Fred, he was, Fred was sizing up my red fish. Yeah? I'm just like, come on, Fred. It wouldn't fit down your neck. Congrats, man. Dude. You're going to need a bigger cooler. Right? <laughs> I know, now i got an extra eight pounds to bring back. <laughs> He don't even fit in the box, bro. Look at look at this 21 inch permit trying to fit in this cooler. This is a decent sized cooler too. Finally a fight. It slowed down there for a little while. It's been about 30 minutes since we had a bite. Don't feel very big, but it's running in. So maybe it, maybe it's bigger than I think it is running in fast okay he's got a little bit of weight to him i don't think it's anything fancy oh wait now he's pulling some drag oh jumping and everything yeah that's a pump 100 that's a pump cross my line here it's a bad spot hit that purple float again those pompano are Apparently liking that purple float. That's two on the same float. Both times tipped with sand flea. But this guy is just another barely legal pompano. I mean, he's like 11 and a half. Pompano number two for the day. Just lately, it seems like everything's around 11 to 13 inches. A lot of people call these the schooling fish. I'm going to call it dinner later on, but he's the first that I'm going to keep for the tournament. Got to bring at least one fish, right? cast this back out i got this one further out in the deeper water about right there if you can see it, it's behind a wave i don't know if i'll be able to show it did you watch me reel this in you think there's a fish on there don't you i hate to break it to you fred there ain't no fish i'm just doing a bait check oh barry's got a bite get him barry No, nah, if he hooked up, he hooked up, man. Is it... Oh, look at that. It's zooming through the water. 
That's a pump. Nice. They probably a juvenile. Yeah. What do you eat? Blue fish boat. There you go. That's a DS Custom Bullet Float. These are the smaller ones. With Sam Flea Egg. Sam Flea Egg. Fred, I'm happy to see you put some work in. I feel like we're fishing together today. Good luck, man. There we go. Finally, after it's been a while. That is the first tug in a minute, easily an hour. I'm about ready to pack it in and move. Just rebaited these. Got a sand flea on there, but this feels like a decent fish. He's running in, running in. Is he even still there? Oh, there he is, right at shore. <laughs> oh, he just pulled hard. It's a pump. He's about the same size as the other two I caught this morning. There we go. Another about 11 incher. Seems like that's what's biting in this spot today. I might move just because of that. Definitely want to find those big tournament worthy pompano. We'll get this guy back. See you, buddy. There he goes. On a live sand flea. This pink and yellow float. This is a single drop rig. And I casted it just past the breaking waves out there. Not quite in the blue water. About right there. Well, it has slowed down. We're gonna move down the beach, find a new spot that looks good to us. Sometimes you just gotta keep moving to find the fish. And that's what we're hoping. We found like a nice area of the beach that sticks out from the rest of the shore and we're able to easily get past the sandbar out here. It's not far at all. Hopefully we can find some pompano, specifically the big pompano, because we both want to really win this tournament. There's a rip current right here, and I figured put a bait in front of it, go ahead and scout that spot out before we move to it. And that's something I'll do out here. Instead of moving, I'll go ahead and just kind of walk down the beach a little bit and cast in a different spot that looks good. That way I can scout it out while i'm fishing the spot i'm currently at and obviously if you catch a fish you know you want to move there we go there we go i just threw this one back out down the beach to kind of scout out a different spot and it paid off quick not liking how much shallow water i got to pull whatever this is through though as long as he stays on, we're good, right? Oh yeah, that's a pump for sure, the way he's fighting. He's just gonna baby him in in this shallow water. Not used to facing this camera, man. Like, <laughs> it's pretty weird. I'm gonna walk down here to it. Cause this is super skinny. A decent fish though. There he is. I see him now. Keep him in this deeper water. I don't want to lose it. That's a good pump what that is. Definitely an upgrade to my other Pompano. And he hit that purple and white float, man. And that had two small sand fleas on it. That is a 13 inch fish right there. It is crazy fighting this guy in through all that skinny water. Never done that before. It's just a long stretch of skinny water down the beach. I, I was starting to get a little nervous once I realized it was a Pompano. There have been a lot of just keeper to undersized Pompano being caught and I'm hoping that following them is the big pompano. Usually, at least from my experience, that's how it goes. You'll get the smaller pompano come in, their large schools first, and then after that, you'll get some of the bigger ones coming through. Barry's fish, like 
that permit was insane. I have not ever seen a permit that big in the Panhandle area. I'm not saying there hasn't been one caught, but it beats the Alabama record, and that is not far down the road from here. So that's a huge permit. I bet that made Barry's entire weekend trip fishing over here in the Panhandle. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and until next time, take care and tight lines.